we start moving applications and data into a cloud-based environment, where exactly is that? Yes, physically, cloud is made up of servers and machines that have to be located in a, in, 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 a, in a physical space, but largely that is shared and distributed in a very virtual way. So one of the challenges, I think, is how do we apply um, some of this data protection and regulation to, to personal data uh, to a, a cloud-based environment, and that's something that we need to try and grapple with as well. So we, we primarily partner with AWS uh, to provide our hosting infrastructure. They, they have a global footprint, um, so for instance, our clients in Australia, they benefit from using AWS's data centers within Australia. Um, our clients in North America, you know, um, they benefit from AWS's data centers there. We also have other clients who don't want to share, they want to ring fence everything. So for those clients, uh, uh, we have dedicated staff, they work out of uh, clean rooms, restricted access clean rooms in highly secure environments, you know, CCTV, security guards, you know, um, everything that goes with that. So we can offer, in effect, what's um, a, a shared platform where the clients can share the costs, but we can actually also lower the client's costs, but actually do it in a completely segregated way. If the client's got an appetite for I'd see ring fencing resources and uh, specific to them. Here in Europe, I mean, we've had a couple of really big pieces of regulation impacting us as a, as, as a banking payments industry. Firstly, uh, one that has some opportunity of, around it is, is PSD2, the Payment Services Directive. The other regulation where cloud technology is going to have an impact for us is GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation. And particularly because when we think about data protection as a requirement, um, one of the things that uh, we have to think about also is the geographic location of where our data actually is. We uh, see a number of data protection, data privacy uh, laws being passed in other countries around the world as well. And several of them talk about data having to be localised um, or, or ring-fenced within their national boundaries. Because we're operating in lots of jurisdictions around the world, right, we, we're also adapting to local regulations in those jurisdictions. So for example, we have quite a number of clients in, in Singapore. Now the, the Monetary Authority of Singapore are very, very strict. They've got, they've got one of the uh, most stringent regulatory regimes anywhere in the world. Right. Well, we have multiple clients there, right? so again, those clients in Singapore, whatever the MAS brings in, we, we do it once and then I'm to do it all individually and, and incur all that, in, that cost in individually. From a GDR perspective, I, we only have to do it once, you know, prepare for it, GDPR and have everything in place. Whereas clients themselves, if they're not using a managed service, each and every client is having to spend money um, to accommodate GDPR.